There are some awesome overlanding destinations in California. It takes a lot of highway driving to get to them usually. If I have the time, I like to explore by taking less traveled routes to and from my destination. I left Anza Borrego and found some interesting stuff to see on my way home. I slept overnight in the Button Willow rest area on I-5. I drove through the Lost Hills oil field in mid-central California. You can see some of the oil derricks I passed by. This intersection at Highway 41 and 46 is where James Dean crashed his car and died in 1955. I headed towards Parkfield, California, population 18. It's also considered the earthquake capital of the world. And the weather here is extremely hot in the summer. This bridge crosses right over the San Andreas Fault. This is where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate rub up against each other, causing earthquakes. In Parkfield, you can stay at a luxury dude ranch and be a cowboy for a little while. I'll visit Parkfield again and show more of the town, but for right now I'm headed back to my Jeep and my X-Venture 3 trailer and headed to the Parkfield grade. This must have been a beautiful home in its day. I tried to imagine what it would have been like to have lived here and worked on this ranch. I drove up Parkfield grade and at the top you cross into Fresno County. On the north side of Parkfield grade I found a place to pull over and fly my drone and get some good aerial footage. My Wrangler Eco Diesel and my X Venture X33 off road trailer have proved to be a really great setup for overlanding and just taking trips anywhere in California. These rugged hills of the mid central California coast remind me a lot of the eroded hills I saw down at Anza Borrego, Fonts Point. At the top of Parkfield grade, with the drone at maximum altitude, I was able to get magnificent views of all the surrounding landscape. This view is looking southwest towards the coast. I jumped back in my Jeep and started heading north down the other side of the Parkfield grade. Some ways down the road, I discovered this historical marker that told the story of how a homesteader turned a small plot of land into a huge ranch and helped build this road through the mountains. They built a beautiful monument here and a great place to pull off the road to check it out and learn a little bit about the history of this area. I continued down the grade to a met up with Highway 198 and I would be on my way to King City and home. I made one more stop for lunch at the top of an unnamed pass on Highway 198 a ways before I got to King City. I stopped for a quick lunch and flew my drone again getting some more beautiful shots of the surrounding area. I have to say it was a pretty interesting drive home. I learned something, had some fun, and it was a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.